So I got into triathlon when I was probably like 12, 11, 12 years old, but I was a swimmer first. And then I was actually quite good at running and quite good at biking, so I sort of combined them all, started doing triathlon, really enjoyed it. And I've pretty much been like at high level since I was probably like 15, 16. Yeah, when I was growing up with doing, doing sport, I think, my, well, my parents helped me a huge amount with taking me to swimming in the morning, like at a silly hour, like 4 a.m. and things like that, and taking me to the national series, the super series, and obviously that's the pathway that led me on to where I am now. Um, and obviously now progressing into Olympic stuff and trying to qualify this year. I've got one more race to be able to qualify for that. Um, and it all pretty much boils down to being good at a relay. Um, but in, I think it was 2021, when COVID and that was happening, that I thought that I, I need something on the side to do. So I started motorsport engineering and it gives me a little bit of, when times are tough, you're not like just solely focused on triathlon. There's also some, something else to think about. So you're not getting, you're not just sitting there sad about what's happening. So you can just crack on with something else as well. So with DMU, it's the main, main reason why I came to DMU was obviously I wanted to study something that was, I was passionate about and not just do a, sports science is something that I'm not really that passionate about um, and because I want to do motorsport engineering when I'm older and when I eventually retire from triathlon that's what I want to go into and yeah I think with DMU obviously I was able to do it online so I think that was the main thing so it's actually best of both worlds I could train I could do it online and it's a study it's a study that I really enjoy and want to pursue when I'm yeah. retired from triathlon which is really good for me because I can do my sport and then come back and then write reports and study that and it's not really it doesn't really affect what, what I'm doing training wise it's really important for me. So yeah support wise throughout the year and since I've been with DMU I've obviously had help with bursaries and things like that which is really important to get my equipment and to be able to compete at the highest level and I also have to pay to get to races so it's really useful to have that money to be able to pay for them and compete and perform at my best. Yeah, so recently I paused my studies to be able to, well, with, with this Olympic year, I thought it'd be important to focus on training and racing to try and qualify for the Olympics. So I've took a year out at the moment, and then we'll restart at the end of the year after the Olympics, hopefully. Um, so the process of trying to be selected for the Olympics is pretty much just perform at my best in the races and the World Series. Um, there is obviously select races that are almost selection races, but ultimately it's about how you perform year round. Um, and for me, I, last year I had a really good year, um, got a top eight at World Series and yeah, then this year obviously with a bit of injury, I've got a, pretty much my next race in two weeks in Cagliari um, and that'll pretty much determine whether I can go or not. So plans if I get selected is to obviously just fully focus on the Olympics. Um, Obviously, not go too. Don't go too. Don't do too much before the Olympics because what I'm doing at the moment is working. Um, but then, if I don't get selected for Olympics, it's pretty much just the same as every year. Just focus on World Champs, European Champs, um, World Series. Yeah. I think the motivation just comes from having that one goal of mainly Olympics. Cause that's what I've had since I was a little kid. Like I think most people have that. Um, but then also that feeling of when you do do really well. That yeah, you got that feeling inside where you, you literally can't beat it. Um, so on those winter days when it's horrible and things like that, then you just got the determination to just crack on and get on with it. I think for me, I'm not, I'm not amazing at, uh, sometimes I'm not amazing at balancing my studies with when I'm training and when I'm working, because sometimes I'll get fully focused on uh, writing a report and then I'll, I'll do that all day and then I have to train in the evenings and the mornings. But um, yeah, I end up getting it done and yeah, I think because I've got that sort of like determination in sport, it sort of matches that. So when my reports are coming up, I fully get on it and give it 100% um, to get the best grade I possibly can. Yeah, so world class funding is where I obviously get a, almost a, a salary every month, which helps with paying for food and equipment and travel. And things. there's not one thing that's specific that gives the most like helps me the most. I think it's the whole having the whole package and having that whole. Um, what would you call it, a uh, support team around me. Um, I think without one of those people, it doesn't really work. So I think having the whole thing together is what really works for me, yeah.